goodness, man. I'm going to go with that for now. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, well, right now, I'm checking to see which one I like better. If I should start recording with the microphone right here or if I should just leave it way over there. I did some sound checks. So I like it in here, but I'll let y'all test that out later. All right. So, I wanted to come on here and talk about some things with relationships. And I just wanted to make it as simple as possible, honestly. See, a lot of people talk about, oh, relationship goals, that's how you do this, that's how you do that. But to be honest with you, here's the thing with relationship goals. Don't set an unrealistic goal. Don't set something that you think is great, but then really y'all are both reaching unrealistically high. And don't get me wrong, that don't mean don't set high goals, but set goals that are okay for everybody, you know? know, I've been told I whisper in my videos too. If it sounds like I'm whispering, it's because I'm making this everybody sleep. Maybe maybe I just hold the microphone right here. All right, all right, yeah. <laughs> but no, to be completely serious with everybody, if you have a relationship that you're in and you want things to work out and you want things to go well and to go right, even for y'all who have long distance relationships, even for y'all who are close up, this goes for everybody. If you want things to work out, you have to compromise. And that's the main set about a relationship. You compromise, you have trust, and you have understanding. You can't have one and not have the others. Because if one is missing, it's going to make all three of them go missing. And then you'll be sitting there like, where did I go wrong with this? How did this happen? Why, why are things like this? You'll be sitting there and you'll be feeling crazy because now you done lost somebody that you care about, you love. And they just sitting there blank, but you can't do nothing about it. Well, hear me when I say compromise. A lot of people think when you compromise... Your, 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 hold on, let me try to think of a good explanation. Do you think when you compromise, you're just giving something up and that's it? But no, that's not what compromisation is. It's compromise, it doesn't just go for the person you're trying to be with. Compromise goes for both people. And a lot of people don't realize that Whenever they do something, they're not compromising. A lot of people don't realize that. And I'm one of those people, to be honest. I'm one of those people who, well, if you do this, if you only see it this way, if you just thought about it like that, you shouldn't think about stuff like that. Don't just think about things from your perspective. Guys, I've been through a lot in my life. And if I've learned anything, it's to think how everyone thinks, not just how you think. And there's not a single question you can't ask me that I won't think about in like eight different voices before I finally come to a realization of one one single thought. And those eight voices are other experiences from other people or other experiences that I've had for a single thing. If you ask a question about a laptop and you say, what is the best processor in the world? Somebody might blurt out, oh, uh, Intel Core i7, that's the best one. Somebody else might blurt out, oh, AMD Radeon 5, i5, and R5, and I might blurt out, I might not blurt out nothing. I might sit there and say, you know, an Intel Core Processor S7 does have this, that, and the other, but an AMD Radeon also has this, that, and the other, and it can do this, but the Intel can't do that. But the Intel can do this, but it can't do that. And I go back and forth, 
and I might see it from his perspective, his perspective, and the whole tech shop's perspective. And I'll still come in, and by the time I finally give you an opinion on it, you might have sat there for like a minute or so, but when I come in, I'll say, yeah, this one's better right here because it can do this as well as that, and you still have this option over here, you know? So how does that relate to this relationship thing? Well, just just like I had to see both sides of the argument in order to give my opinion on which processor is the best, it's the same thing in a relationship. You don't just go in and say, well, I done sacrificed all this for you, but you haven't done nothing. No, that's, that's not how this works. You have to take into consideration this person might have been over here because you don't like something in your life. Let's use boys as an example. Because you don't like her hanging out with guys, she might have given up guys her whole her whole relationship with you. Or ice cream. Because you don't like ice cream, she might have given up ice cream her whole relationship. She might have held in her comments telling you about the type of ice cream she likes when you're sitting over here and you're talking about everything that you like and she might not like none of the stuff that you're talking about but she's had to hold her comment she compromised to hold in her comment while you're sitting here rambling about what your comment is and then here's the main thing with a lot of people not just guys not just girls it's the thing with a lot of people a lot of people will sit there and argue their point and try to be right without taking into consideration what that other person has been through, what that other person has withheld, what that other person tries to, to hold in. And the only reason that other person holds the stuff in is because they don't want to upset you. They don't want to be, they don't want you to be afraid of their opinion. They don't want to say something that makes you upset, angry, and jump out at them. So they hold, they withhold their opinion and they try not to say anything because they don't want you to be upset. And whenever you have something like that, well, guys, you can't, guys and girls, you can't say things that are on your mind but then when she tries to say something that's on her mind or when he tries to say something that's on his mind, you don't let them speak. You cut them off. You're so in a hurry to talk that you don't listen to what they have to say or you don't let their opinion be compromised while your opinion is still full-fledged. A relationship isn't going to work like that. And... Regardless of to how anybody feels or what anybody says, you're not going to be happy in a relationship if only one person is forced to compromise. And believe me, guys, I've been through some major stuff in my life, and i put the girls in my life through some major stuff in life. And it is sad sometimes how much, how many things we both put each other through. She might do something that's heartbreaking heart-wrenching it might hurt but then just because I don't do nothing for a long time and you know I try to get over it and whatnot well I might do something the same I might do something totally different in the different perspective that's heartbreaking and heart-wrenching and you know and, and, and you you'll say well why are you acting like this I only did this once but in reality it's, it's not even like that. It, it's something that she's always compromised for so she doesn't hurt your feelings. Or he's always compromised for so he doesn't hurt your feelings. But it's, it's, it's only seen, been seen one way. And you can't be like that towards your other partner. Your partner, your wife, your girlfriend boyfriend it's something that everybody has to work on within themselves don't be so quick to cut somebody off 
Don't be so quick to say something without really trying to listen to the other person. Because whenever you do that, all you're doing is prolonging how much you don't care about what they're saying. You're just trying to get your point across. And sometimes if you're trying to be an asshole, yeah, that's great. Keep doing that. But if you're trying to be somebody who understands, who cares, who listens to their spouse, who listens to their partner and their other, then listen. And you make compromises too. There's never going to be a relationship that nobody's going to make compromises. There's never going to be a relationship that's happy where people say things and only one person is allowed to speak while the other person can't say anything. And even even if you don't think you say anything, even if you don't don't think that you're like that, it, it really takes somebody who's true to their self and somebody who doesn't lie to their self to think of times, well, well maybe once or twice I might have did this. It, it's probably more than once or twice. If you've, done, if you've thought about it and it's been once or twice in your life that you've done it, believe me, you've done it more than once or twice. And that's, I'm not going to say that's a bad thing, but as far as a relationship goes... Everybody has to make compromises and everybody has to make their choices on what they need it to be. And you start small with it. When you're friends, you start small. If you've jumped into a relationship out of nowhere, you still start small. Yeah, this is your partner. This is the person you, you might even spend your entire life with. But in order for that person to feel okay, to feel comfortable... And say that person is inside an abusive environment. If that person is inside an abusive environment, that makes it even worse and harder to deal with. And you have to make even more compromises in order to win that person's affections and feelings. You have to do your absolute best. It doesn't matter what's going on. You have to do your absolute best if you care for that person. And they have to do the same thing as well. It's not one way either or other. It's together. You're together. You're not separate. You're together. So be together. And be with your spouse or the people that you love. But that's only a little bit of everything that I had to say. I'll probably hop on here with like a part two or something. (laughs) Or if you enjoy the topic, just let me know. I'm trying to make my videos a little bit better since I get so many. They're clingy. They're clingy. That's cool, too. I'm still going to work on it. For those who like the original videos, I hope you like the new ones, too. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all's time. And that's all I wanted to tell y'all. I'll holler at you.